Welcome back to Switch to Linux. Well, my voice is mostly back. Yesterday, I sounded like a 13-year-old prepubescent child, so um, I decided not to do a video and make you all suffer through that. Oh, my God. I'll have to go through puberty again. We are back today, and we're back about 80%, so we'll go ahead and proceed. And I found this new application that uh, might be a good niche application for some of you. It's probably not an application that absolutely everybody needs, but it is neat, it is fun, and it is something that uh, does have some use in some work case scenarios. So this is called The Collector. It is effectively a Linux version of the Mac program called Dropover, which allows you to store either files or text blobs or other things inside of a, um, a unified clipboard and then move those all at once into a separate window or an application or maybe you're collecting a variety of files from different folders to upload all at once into a cloud drive or server. That is really what this application does. Now, this is one of those good examples of what Flatpak and, uh, and Snap packages and things are good for is this is a software that is so new, it's not likely to be packaged inside of any Linux distribution. And so having a connection to the FlatHub allows you to install it on a wide variety of operating systems without it being in the software repository. Now, that being said, I always do prefer to install things from the repository itself, but I thought we'd go ahead and have a look. First, let's have a look at their website. This is at Majorish.it, Projects Collector, and uh, it's just a very simple uh, page here, which is just giving us the basics. We can drag or drop multiple files. You can use uh, paste text into it. It will rele uh, release that as a CSV file. And um, it's going to allow you to drag images directly from Google Image and things like that. Uh, this is the creator who is uh, from Rome. And he has a few different uh, programs here. We have the flat stats, some statistics from FlatHub, Smile, Relaxing Clock. So just some things. Everything here is under the GPL uh, v3 license. So uh, you can uh, have a look at what that is. You can see all the source code. And then there is also a GNOME extension, which allows one of the features I would like to see, which is there if you're using GNOME. So we will grant that. I'll talk about what that is here in a moment. Here is the FlatHub page. So, of course, your FlatHub code to install it and your run command. And remember that this is what you need if you're going to do any um, permission changes or anything in the terminal with Flatpak which you're going to need to know because one of the downsides of this is it does not actually allow access to your home folder by default on install, which is one of my uh, down points of this particular application out of the box. You're going to need to change that either by going over into your permissions. So, of course, this is talking about flat seal. I'll show you what this looks like under flat seal. Or you can override the file system path here. This package name here, that's what you need from right here. That's it.majoris.collector. So you can see that. And then, of course, there's a lot more about permissions over on the Flatpak documentation as well. But with that, let's go ahead and have a brief look at the application itself. So here is Collector installed. And they have a little color dot down here. So you can have several different windows of different colors. So if you want to keep things organized, you can install or run separate instances of it as well. And then keep them organized by their color. So what we're going to do here is the first thing. Let's see. Uh, let's just go ahead and say you can... Uh, take an image. Now, one of the things I, I wish it had is the ability to float on top. That is one of the features of the GNOME extension. So since I'm here running this on Cinnamon, it behaves like any other window. In GNOME, you can go ahead and you can uh, you can go ahead and keep that on top of other windows. But it'll allow, allow you to drag and drop images from the web. And as, it'll, as you are doing that, of course, you got to grab a real image there, then you can store a variety of different things in here as uh, the case of just dragging and dropping things over. You can preview individual files. So here it's just opening our open with window here. That's just uh, a text file with the links I wanted to do here. Here is uh, we can preview this one. Do you want to do image viewer, Chrome drawing? Let's just look at it briefly in image viewer. So you can see what this is. And then here's this one as well. So you can see what it looks like. 
Now, what you can do with it uh, and what the applications are, let's just go ahead and create a new folder. And just to show you what it can do is once you have everything in here, you can just boom, copy, paste, and it'll just copy and paste everything from the original location into your particular folder. So that is a really nice application. So this is uh, good, like I said, if you're trying to do any cloud things or in our case here, what you might do, let me just delete the files. And then for our use case here, let's say we're working on a video and I'm going to be like, okay, I need to grab my uh, intro that has never changed in years and uh, I don't really care. So we'll go ahead and grab this. Let's grab the backdrop ping and uh, let's grab, let's see our supporters one. I actually think, oh, I need my title one as well. So now if I want to go ahead and create a new video, let's just boot up Caden Live. So now I have a, a new Caden Live folder here. I can just open up Collector and everything that was in here. So you can think maybe we had some uh, video files in here as well. In fact, let's go ahead and add one of those. Um, let's see. I think this was the crappy one I tried to do yesterday before I realized, okay, I don't have a voice right now, so let's do that. So now we have a bunch of video assets for video all inside of here that are collected from different folders, drag and drop, and boom, they're all now in my Caden Live project. So here it's just asking me, this is something that uh, the new Caden Live does. Do you want to change the frame rate? Sure. Let's transcode that. Let's switch our profile. And now we are all set. So now I can drop in my boring intro that has never changed. And I don't care because I like it and other people do too. Now we can drop our file over here. We can do whatever type of manipulation that we want. And let's go ahead and insert a track. So if we want to do our uh, banner overlay, somebody commented on that the other day. Yes, I do have plans to change these banner overlays uh, soon. Um, this is uh, definitely something I have. It's on my list. It's actually, I, I did some templates for it back in October or something. I just haven't gotten a chance to uh, finalize everything there. So uh, just so you know, those types of things are changing. Let's go ahead and uh, insert a new track. And maybe we'll put our title in over here. And I grabbed the title. There it is. So there we are. Go ahead and do that. So there we have it. Now we have the ability to use collector and do things like uh, drop everything all into one block or we can drop it all over onto a cloud server or an upload dialog box or move them to a separate folder. Maybe you're collecting your favorite pictures from vacation from different folders, drop them in here and then show them onto the slideshow you're going to bore all your friends with. So that is a neat little application available over on FlatHub. Uh, the good parts of it is it is uh, small, multiple windows are possible. It is very easy to manage the basics of it, easy to use. Of course, all these GNOME-based applications are extraordinarily limited on your settings. Here's what our settings preferences looks like. Um, so always keep items when dragged out. Uh, and there is an alt shortcut that allows you to drag things out and then clear it from the clipboard as well. You can download images from URLs. So if you post up a URL, it'll download the image automatically, a variety of different things. And then you can collect strings as CSV files. There's the GNOME extension, like I said, allows you to always stay on top of other windows. That's a feature I'd like to see uh, without the GNOME extension because I'm not running GNOME. That's kind of cool. And then there's some configuration instructions on KDE as well. And then you can open it up. Uh, this is the shortcut you'd want to run in a terminal if you want to open up multiple instances of it. And then the number of windows to open. So you can set it to open multiple different windows uh, with this. So every time you run this, how many windows do you want to open? So that's pretty nice. Here's Google image support and there's debugging for logs as well. Now, as I said, out of the box by default is it actually doesn't work with your home directory, which is a huge limiting factor. Um, if uh, there was a good way to change that inside the, the settings, I would certainly do that. So let's just go ahead and have a look at it under flat seal. So you can see all the applications we have here. And I'm going to go ahead and hit the reset button. Oh, excuse me. Hit the reset button there. And this turns it back. So we have network connection. So I was able to drop images from uh, online and then drop them into a folder. That was fine. Uh, we can see that it should work with X and with Wayland. So I didn't test it on Wayland. We did this test just on X. But the Flatpak does have all of your sockets available for those. So it should work under each one of your systems. Here's printing is obviously disabled. Here's your GPU acceleration. Uh, here is your... Uh, you know, Bluetooth things, a lot of these things that just there's no reason for it. But 
file system, I really do wish it had this one turned on. So this one allows everything on the file system. Uh, this is um, file system, libraries, executable stats. This is the um, system configuration. The user files is everything inside of your home directory. So if you install it and you're not able to drag things into it, the reason is this isn't set. As we said, you can set the permissions with the terminal or you can go ahead and if you're using a lot of flat packs, you should have flat seal installed anyway because it allows you a very nice GUI to manage all of these. And I have a whole separate video about how to use uh, the flat seal to show you what all it can do. So there is uh, what we have as far as collector. Hopefully this has been a useful application for you. And if it's not, hey, that's okay. It's at least something out there for in the event you have a good use case scenario for it. So there you have it, guys. Thank you guys for watching. And with that, I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux.